Now, buying your first home has always been a challenging and nervy affair, but in a cost of living crisis, well, it can be especially tough. First time buyers here say they're being kept off the property ladder by a system that means they often have to find two separate deposits to secure a home. In Scotland, mortgage providers will only lend based on the value of the property stated in what's called the home report and not the actual amount a home buyer has paid. Well, we've been speaking to some first time buyers facing these struggles been able to kind of save the deposit over the last 10 years but that doesn't get us anywhere close to what we need to be able to successfully kind of bid for uh, a flat in Glasgow even a one bedroom flat we'd need the money to be able to put in a bid that goes well well above the, the housing report uh, price which could be in excess of 20 to 30 thousand pounds which is in effect a, a, a double deposit we are missing out we we have missed out and we're continuing to pay for the cost of this deregulated rental market. Anytime I try to open a conversation up about this, I'm always dismissed, like with older generations. I was actually even reading on a, on a website yesterday for like how to get like mortgage help and stuff like that. And one of the main things they said that you should like do is cut back, go live with your parents again. I was like, not everyone has parents they can go live with. No. That's not realistic. Or don't buy a fancy car, buy a simple car. Mm -hmm. I can't afford a car <laughs> yeah. of any kind. Like, what are you talking, what car are you speaking about? Okay, well, let's speak to someone in the know here, mortgage advisor Dean Fleming. Thanks very much for coming in, Dean. Um, I mean, these must be the sorts of stories you're hearing every day at the moment. Yes, all the time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the way the, the market is, uh, a lot of first-time buyers are really struggling with getting on the ladder. Uh, not everybody has the bank of mum and dad or the bank of grandparents, and they're finding in certain areas, especially the south side, of Glasgow and the West End of Glasgow where a lot of first time buyers want to stay. Uh, they're finding that they're getting priced out of the market with people that have got very deep pockets. Just explain the situation uh, in terms of how it compares with the rest of the UK then. Well down in England and Wales if you offer on a property you put in an offer of what you think it's worth. The estate agent will guide you and say well we want offers over 200,000 for example or, or 150,000 and whatever you offer if that's the winning offer the winning bid then that's what gets accepted and that the bank will go out and value the property after you put in the mortgage application um, and then if the, the valuer agrees with that then they will they'll accept that as the as the value up here in Scotland, it's different. Uh, you get the home report value up front, and then anything that you have to offer over and above has to be paid cash on top of your mortgage deposit. Yeah, I mean, clearly there's a lot of different challenges at the moment, but this, this has always been the case though, hasn't it? I mean, people here have had to, you know, there's a difference between the valuation price and the actual selling price. What, what's changed recently, do you think? Well, I think what's happened is post-COVID, there was a boom, the market was on fire. Some of my clients that I spoke to had to battle. They were up against 30 other people for the one property. Now, that's 29 losers and there's been a big shift in first-time buyers wanting to get out of the rental market because rents have been increasing with mortgage interest rates increasing and cost of living uh, increasing. So they want to have that security of owning their own home uh, without having the fear of potentially being asked to leave because their landlord's selling. Um, do you think, I mean, is there scope to change the, the system up here then? Is that likely at all in, in sort of from your opinion? Well, if we change it, it could actually cause more problems. Look at the south of England, for example. People are offering almost 50, 60,000 more because that's what they feel it's worth. The valuer then go out and they may accept that. Um, if there was a crash, then that could potentially put those borrowers into negative equity if they only put in a 5% deposit. Up here, you know how much it's worth. And then if you have the means to go over and above that, then you are accepting that that money is, is go going to the seller. Uh, and if, you, uh, if there was a crash or a downturn, your property is still valued at what it's valued at on the home report. Yeah, just really briefly then, what kind of advice is there for first time buyers then? What should, what should people do to go on the property? Get, get specific advice. Everybody's different. I speak to a whole range of clients buying 400 grand properties to 60 grand properties. Um, get specific advice and 
you never know, you, you might be a call away from actually getting on the profit ladder. Yeah, just keep keep trucking on, keep putting okay. in the offers, eh? Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks very much, Dean Thank Fleming. Thank Thanks. you.